That is what I call joyful music, and it's the creation of Tony Sukar, and it's called Mas de Mi. But you know, when you take your vision and your passion, and you live your life almost to die, I mean, dying because of your work, you've done everything you could do to make this a reality. Tony, welcome. It's nice to have you with us. This film, Mas de Mi, is riveting, it's entertaining, it's amazing. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. You know, it's it's a dear pleasure first of first of all to be here and to talk about this. You know, such a such a passion project. You know, Masami really is life transforming for for my career, for my my life, and I'm so excited that I've been able to put it into a film. You know, and into a, just a real real round uh, substantial uh, film, and it's it's very powerful. And thank you so much for taking the time to watch it. You know, I'm, I'm oh, excited. No, you know, I, I I love music. Music's in my family. I mean, I grew up playing in my dad's mariachi band, so I, it's a much, it's a much different vibe than the than the salsa stuff that you do and the recreation. But let's talk about let's talk about where this started for you because your mom is a singer musician. She's Asian. Your dad is Peruvian. He also has a hand in some some of your musical skills. Yes. Tell me about how you were raised. Yeah, well, I grew up here in Miami, Florida. I came when I was two years old. I was born in Lima, Peru. So, uh, you know, growing up in Miami, it's it's already a cultural belting pot, right? Going to school, I, I obviously had a lot of the hip hop culture during during that time, the '90s, you know. Uh, but growing up in the house, my mom never wanted to ever learn how to speak English. She just didn't like the language. She was like, <laughs> "If you want to communicate with me, you have to talk in Spanish." So that was very important, actually, for my upbringing because I kept the Spanish language and the Peruvian roots so so strong in the in the household because she was so strict with that and and actually her strict um i guess culture actually comes from the japanese side of her because she's uh japanese so then my dad is lebanese mexican and spanish so there's a very big mix going on already in just just in my in my dna and uh it was it was a very musical home because my mom is a singer my dad's a piano player my brother's a dj my sister's a singer as well a dancer and so every 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 get together in the house was always musical and i was the percussionist i was the guy that was like yo you know keep the groove down you know so i was always about the groove and and the drums but i learned how to play piano as well with my dad so i studied that in middle school and then once i got to college uh, I had to decide on an actual major, so I went on and, and chose um, jazz performance, and I became an arranger, an orchestrator, and a producer. And that's what really changed my life, because that's when I, you know, discovered Tito Puente and Quincy Jones and all these great producers, whether in the Latin music side or the pop or the jazz. Um, and I just started like, you know, meshing all that together. So it was—it's really a family um, blessing to be in the music industry. Because if it wasn't for them, I definitely would not be here where I am today. Well, it was in the DNA and it's obviously showing it's great. The fruits of your labors have been tremendous. I mean, you were named producer of the year at the, at the Latin Grammys and also best salsa album. And and just the way that you approach it is so organic and so authentic. I mean, you even produced this thing in, in your garage. You converted your garage into a studio and you're this independent yes. record label going up against the big guys. That must have felt something really special. It was huge. It was huge because I wasn't expecting this. You know, I was not expecting it at all because you as an independent musician and producer are always the underdog. You know, you're always like thinking that nothing's going to happen for you because you don't have the power and you don't have the, I guess, the luxury of having a powerhouse, you know, label that's pushing you marketing wise that has the funds that tells you, you know, you could get on a plane and go to Vegas. You can go on a plane and go to like Las Vegas. You can do a promo tour here. You can get the best publicist. You can have the radio promotion. So you don't have that working for you. So you literally what you what you have is like um, just your music, you know, inside of a CD right now in the stream. And, and, and this is your form of actually moving itself and, and making things happen for you. So when the Academy announced the uh, nominations, the first nomination, which was album of the year, which is like the biggest um, category that exists, you know, that's like the biggest like 
category. So then I was like, wow, like I saw my name there and I said, what? I have to be dreaming. You don't understand how many times that morning I want, I punched myself. I threw water in my eyes. I was like, wake up, like stop dreaming. Like this is not even real. So when that happened, man, I knew that something was going right. And then boom, all the other nominations started coming because they announced them on order. And then I was like producer of the year and best tropical song, best salsa album. And I was like, how is this? I just recorded this in my garage, you know, like what's going on here? So it was a really groundbreaking album though. I knew that something was special because I felt it in the studio. I, I, I did two years of massive work um, and it was, and I would compare it. I would compare it to the best albums. And I said, my ears are not gonna lie to me, you know? I know what sounds good, and I know this sounds killer. So that's what happened, man. But you know, you have you have the you have the quality and the skill and the capability of Quincy Jones. I mean, I, I know that you look up to these guys, but you are their equal now. You are one of those guys who has the golden ear, the the the, the Clive Davises who hear the music the way you hear it. But it's so amazing that you're able to translate that through to artists who may not have thought of singing in salsa or performing the songs that you are thinking about redoing or, or or and the homage in unity to michael jackson is pure genius tony oh, thank you man you know if you put it that way like it it, it it makes me like very proud um it it's just so natural you know like i i feel like i'm a producer that is not um i would say extremely gifted talented like i've seen producers out there that have such an ease when it comes to harmony and you know i work for myself i i, I put in the time you know I'm, I'm more of a craft guy like more like you know just non-stop until i get it perfect rather than like you know kind of like just based off inspiration and like it comes from out of nowhere it it, it definitely doesn't come out of nowhere like it it takes a lot of time that's why i take years on my work um but it's the craftsmanship it's this it's the developing of the skill and then understanding uh the mathematics um and, and the taste you know like taste is so important and that is something you can't really learn and you have to just have it inside so i'm really grateful and thankful to god that he gave me good taste because i think that's the the most important thing you know it's just like knowing when it's right because you could always overdo it you know it's kind of like cooking you have to like know exactly when to stop and say you know it's ready and I, and I want to and I want to just commend you for the way that you speak about your family and especially your grandfather. The, the acceptance speech was very touching. Actually, it moved me to tears watching it in your film, Maz de Mi, wow. which I highly recommend. And, and uh, Tony Sukar, I must say, it's an honor to meet you. It's an honor to talk to you. Maz de Mi is available. Go get it and listen for this guy's name. Tony Sukar is not only going to be win Latin Grammys, you're going to win Grammy Grammys, Academy Awards, you're going to win every single thing that's out there, even Emmys, that one right there, even Emmys. Oh, wow, congratulations. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that you are one of a kind. You're one of those individuals who, and it'll reveal in the, in the movie, nearly dies to get his project done. But uh, so great to have you with us. Congratulations, and I look forward to many more visits with you and many great works. Thank you so much for having me on, on, on this platform. It, it's a real honor, you know, as a, as a musician and, you know, a passionate a director and film producer now that I'm little by little getting my feet wet in this in this world that's just incredible. Um, I'm, I'm just so grateful for your time and, and for this opportunity. So thank you so much. My pleasure.